Hi everyone, um, today's tutorial is going to be this little elephant and if you like what you see, it's quite cute, I do like it, the tail, everything. <clears throat> so if you like what you see, just take your hook and let's begin. Alright guys, so for our little elephant, I'm going to use this blue yarn. So it's Bernard Dolce. Um, the color is 785. And the hook I'm gonna use as usual is number four. Uh, we're gonna need a scissor, of course, and a needle. I'm gonna show you a little preview well, because I haven't done yet any of them, any of this elephant so this is gonna be my first one hopefully you too your first one and let's begin so we're gonna start as usual uh, two loops and from the second loop from the hook we're doing six 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 stitches sorry and six stitches Four, six. Now we're doing six stitches, one row. So no changes, no nothing. We're doing just one row, six stitches. Now, if you are able, just turn this around, just like that. This is gonna be our nose, so we're starting with the nose and we're gonna build all with head around everything. So, now what we're gonna do, it's just mark your row. Just have any leftovers here, so usually I'm taking like that. I'm just making a marker. So mark your row and we're gonna start with five stitches. We're doing five stitches, one increase, and that's it. It's gonna be the end of the row. Two, three, four. Five. And then, okay, five stitches, and now we're doing in the last uh, loop on last stitch, we're doing one increase, so two stitches in one, like that. We have seven stitches in the row, so we have to do increases like that each time in the last in the last um, stitch, we're doing one increase. And be doing like that until we're not gonna have 12 stitches in the row so for example now we did five stitches increase then we're doing six stitches increase uh, seven and like that we carry on until you're not going to have 10 stitches and the last increase so i think you are able to do yourself like that so the last row must be 10 stitches and increase all right guys so i did this last uh, row with increases which was 10 stitches and one increase now i have 12 stitches so what we're doing it's two stitches the next row is doing two stitches and six closing stitches so i'm gonna show i'm not sure that i saying it right but i'm gonna show you anyway how to do it right so we're doing 
as a normal stitch we have two loops on the hook and we're not taking the yarn over we're just taking this loop what we pulled and we're pulling through this other one straight away and you have one loop on the hook and like that we're doing six times so straight into this two two loops on the hook straight through another loop and i did three and now again four five Jesus, five, and the last one is six, and four stitches till the end of the row. One, two, three, and the fourth one. Uh, now we're gonna start with normal increases, which is going to be one stitch, one increase, and like that six times we're doing uh, one stitch. It's gonna be challenging. Try this where we did this closing stitch to take under because it's challenging. So you keeping like that and just pulling through. So we're doing one stitch and increase. And again, one stitch and increase. And like that guys, till the end of the row. We're doing one stitch, one increase, and we're gonna have 18 stitches. All right guys, so I finished this one stitch, one increase. Now we're doing <coughs> the next row, two stitches, one two and increase and like that six times so basically again to not this is the easy part so i'm gonna just tell you so we're doing now two stitches one increase six times after that we're doing three stitches increase six times and the last row which increases is going to be it's four stitches one increase and like that six times and you're going to have um 36 stitches and then I'm gonna tell you how many rows you have to do without any changes. So for now, do these increases. We're gonna see you in a bit. All right, guys, so I finished these increases. <clears throat> now I have 36 stitches. So now what we're doing, we're doing six rows up without any changes, 36 stitches. So six rows up. No changes, no nothing, we're just going up. All right, guys, so um, I finished the six rows and I already put the eyes, so I'm gonna tell you where to put them. So the eyes, if you're counting from, from the very beginning, from where we did this nose, you can think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. So between 12 and 13, we're putting the eyes. You watch out where we did this uh, closing stitches. You see this? Uh, this line here, you're gonna see that it's hanging down. So to be in the middle somewhere, just to look right. So between 12 and 13 row, we're putting the eyes, the difference between them is about two, four, six, seven. Seven stitches. And we're just putting on the safety pins. And it's just like that. So now, if we're gonna mark the row, we're gonna do decreases and meanwhile fill this one up i'm not gonna fill the nose because i want it to to be to hang like that to be soft ish but if you want you can do it you can feel a bit the nose but don't put too much to not be like stone hard i won't do it anyway um now we're doing just decreasing so we're gonna close the head up till the end so we're doing four stitches four stitches and decreases we're doing hidden so we're taking the first 
half of the stitch from the both stitches and we crochet them together and like that we have to do six times four stitches decrease six times after that we're doing three stitches decrease six times and again two stitches decrease six times one stitch decrease six times and just like that until you're not gonna have six stitches left and then you just take in the needle and hide everything in the head i'm gonna show you how it's turned out but i think here is pretty easy so i'm not gonna show you each row with decreases so we're doing four stitches decreases now i'm sorry maybe i talk too much so um, four stitches decrease after that three two one and six decreases and we sew everything together and the head is gonna be done and see you after we finish that we're gonna do hands all right guys so we're gonna do legs now so we're doing um a loop um chain of two stitches two loops and second loop from the hook as usually we're doing six stitches six stitches we have two three four five and the sixth one now we're doing six increases so we're doing two stitches in one loop six times and you're going to have 12 12 stitches you're gonna have after that okay guys mark your row i did the six increases now we're doing one stitch one stitch and one increase and like that five more times and you're going to have 18 stitches all right guys so i finished this row with increases now we're doing um three rows up by 18 stitches without any changes so we're doing three rows up all right guys so i finished these three rows now we're doing two rows with decreasing so we're gonna do three stitches yeah we're doing now three stitches and six decreases in a row decreases we're gonna do visible so we're taking from from first stitch we're taking one loop and from the second stitch we're taking another loop and we have three stitches on the hook and we crochet them together and like that we have to do six times after we did these decreases we're doing three stitches till the end of the row so just to conclude three stitches six decreases and again three stitches all right guys now next row we're doing four stitches three four and again decreases we're doing two decreases so we're doing one visible again so you have three loops on the hook and we crochet them together try to tie them up a bit to not have holes and one more just like that and four stitches till the end of the row now you can fill this part already up with filler not too much like i did here so the bottom half must be a bit uh, hard ish but the, the the top one don't put at all or just a little bit if you want to to not to not to keep them apart like it's gonna just stay like he's doing a split so i wouldn't do that so just leave here soft and flat and now we have to do four rows up by 10 stitches without any changes 
so four rows up all right guys so i finished these four rows now we have to crochet these both sides together so we're taking first half of first half and the second half the stitches from both sides and we crochet them together in total you should have like five stitches last stitch fifth one we're gonna just close this one with a slip knot and that's it this is what we have two legs now we're gonna do hands in a minute all right guys so let's do hands we're gonna start with a loop of two with a chain of two loops and inside for second loop from the hook we're doing six stitches all right it is six stitches now we're doing six increases so two stitches in one six times and we're gonna have 12 stitches and the last one 12 uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, uh, now what we're doing, we have to do 12 stitches, mm, one row, but we have to crochet with the back, the back side of the loop, this second half. So, just to be clear, we're taking the, you see these two sides of this uh, stitch, so we're taking the back side, so the second half from the back. And we're doing one row, 12 stitches from the back side. And after we finish this row, we're doing two more rows with 12 stitches. All right, guys, so I finished these two rows. Now you can fill up this one a bit, but don't fill too much, just a bit here if you want. So it's gonna be like flattish right here. That you're gonna see where we where we crochet this one the back uh, the back stitch i have another hand right here so it's a little bit flat on the top on the bottom so just a bit anyway uh next row we're doing four stitches one two three and decrease decrease we're doing hidden so first half of the stitch from first one and second half from the other one and we crochet them together just like that and like that one more time after we finish this row we're doing one row 10 stitches without any changes all right so we finish this uh, decrease and one row without changes now we're doing three stitches one decrease and like that two times so we're doing one two and three and decrease again hidden we're doing so first half of the stitch from both stitches and like that one more time and after that we're doing uh, eight stitches i mean one row eight stitches all right guys so i finished this uh, last row with eight stitches now we're taking both sides of uh, of our hand and we crochet them together with four stitches so we're doing one two three and 
the last one. Four. Well, the fourth one we're not finishing. We're doing a slip knot, so we're taking straight away this first half of the the second half of the stitch through the first one, and we're doing one more loop, and that's it. We're done with the hands. Next, we're gonna do ears in a second. All right, guys. So. Uh, we're gonna do years now so we're starting as usually with two loops and inside a uh, second loop from the hook we're doing six stitches after we did the six stitches we're doing six increases so two stitches in one loop six times all right guys so i finished this uh, six increases now we're doing one stitch one increase and like that six times so we're doing one stitch and one increase and like that five more times and you're going to have 18 stitches all right guys so i finished this one stitch one increase six times now we're doing next row next row it's we're starting with one increase so one one increase and now we're doing two stitches and increase two stitches and increase and like that till the end of the row by the end of the row you're gonna have two stitches left so we crochet them we're doing now two stitches increase two stitches increase and two stitches at the end all right guys i finished now we're doing an extra row three stitches one two three and increase and like that five more times i'm sorry for that noise i cannot do nothing about it um, so three stitches increase and like that five more times all right guys so i finished this uh, three stitches increase and we should have 30 stitches you can check yourself if you want um, the next row we're doing one stitch one stitch and one increase so this increases what we're doing like that randomly after every row or so it's for for years to be more roundish to not have these corners when you're doing increases so it's it is necessary to do like that in this case because the years otherwise it's gonna look like a romp so do some effort and if you don't understand something please write me i will try to to explain it better in the comments or so so we're doing one stitch one increase and now as normal we're doing four stitches one two three four and decrease and like that four more times and you should finish with three stitches so we're doing normal four stitches increase up to the end and at the end you're gonna have three stitches left so you're doing three stitches all right guys uh, next row the last one we're doing five stitches and one increase and like that six times I have three, four, and five. Now we're doing one increase, so two stitches in one loop, just like that. And we're doing like that five more times. And at the end of the row, we're doing just a slip knot. So we're doing. I'm gonna show you now to not extend it too much. So uh, we're taking like normal stitch. Like you have two loops on the hook. And you're taking this first loop from the what is closer to the hook, taking through through the other one straight away. Just like that. And you're doing one more loop. And this is our closing stitch. Okay, you do this five stitches uh, increase and just closing and the year. It's going to be just like that. 
and it's ready. Next, we're gonna start doing body and build everything up. Guys, I forgot to mention when you're doing this slip knot, it leaves uh, more yarn for sewing, so leave longer because you're gonna sew with the same yarn, just like that. So I left a bit longer and we're gonna sew it into the head like that. I think it already looks cute. Anyway, we're gonna do body in a second. All right, guys, <clears throat> so the body, we're gonna start with, as usual, I'm doing, it's two loops, and second loop from the hook we're doing six stitches so we have to do increases up to four stitches and increase and like that six times so for example now we're doing two loops one two and we're doing second loop from the hook six stitches after that we're doing six increases and again, one, uh, one stitch, one increase, like that, six times. After that, we're doing two stitches, increase six times. And three stitches, increase uh, six times. And after four stitches, increase and six times. And you're going to have 36 stitches. I think you're able to do it yourself, that, because you did a lot of increases in this tutorial. So, you do that. And after I finish these increases, I will be back and we're gonna carry on. All right, guys, so I finished this uh, increasings. Now we're gonna do the tail straight away. So we're doing, we are at the end of our row, right? So we're doing eight loops up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And second loop from the hook, We're doing seven stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven one. And we're joining in, in the next, you can mark a row because you have to do 36 stitches so we're joining in the next uh, next stitch just here and we're doing one normal stitch with no changes so this is gonna be our tail so we're doing like that one we did already we have to do 35 more stitches up to the end of the row and then we're gonna crochet inside the, the legs so 36 stitches without any changes all right guys so i finished this row so now we are here where we start this chain don't be confused just uh, tip this right here and keep with the finger and start straight away mark your row after this tail of course straight straight away from this next um, stitch so we're doing one two three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven stitches and we're taking our foot with the toe to look on the left side and we're doing five stitches with the foot. So we're inserting here in the first one and from the body the next watch out to not miss any any stitches so we're taking one two three four five and the fifth one right here And now we're doing 12 stitches, 12 stitches, this um, end was from the, from the leg, you can crochet inside two. So we're doing 12 stitches now. 
All right, guys, so we're taking the second leg now. I did this 12 stitches and we're taking on the opposite side, on the right side to look to be even like that. So this hump, what we have on the right side, so we're finding the first stitch right here. Because of this slip knot is tight here so anyway we're doing five stitches with the leg with this feet leg feet whatever and we're doing five stitches one two three four and the fifth one and we have left seven stitches till the end of the row so two four six seven stitches all right guys next row we're doing four stitches one two three and the fourth one and we're doing one decrease so it decreases we're doing again hidden so we're taking first half of the stitch from both stitches and we crochet them together and like that five more times after we finish these decreases we have to do one row without any changes all right guys next row we're doing we have to do now after we did we did this one row without any changes we're doing two rows with decreasing so now we're doing three stitches three stitches and one decrease and like that six times we have to do and decrease and like that we're doing five more times so three stitches decrease up to the end of the row after that we're doing two stitches decrease and you're going to have 18 stitches and then we're gonna meet again. So now we're doing three stitches decrease, and after that we're doing two stitches decrease. All right, guys, so I finished this uh, last row with increase two stitches, uh, uh, decrease, I'm sorry, two stitches and decrease, and now we have 18 stitches, so we're doing one row without any changes, 18 stitches. All right, so I finished this 18 stitches, so now we, we're gonna uh, crochet the hands inside. So we're doing four stitches, you can mark your row to not get lost. We're doing four stitches. One, two, three, four. And we're taking the hand. It doesn't matter how you do it. You just take it from the first stitch and we have to crochet with the hand and the body four stitches together. So we're doing one, two, three, and the last one is the fourth one, four. Now we're doing again four stitches and we crochet other hands. Meanwhile, you can pull this uh, end from the hand just crochet in you can take it like that so we're doing four stitches two three and the fourth one and again we're taking the hand it's really not important but you can take another side because they're both the same and they are the same from each side so it doesn't matter so four stitches with this hand exactly same you do four stitches with this hand and it's gonna be left one stitch till the end all right guys so i finished this with the hand now we doing a slip knot just like that and we're leaving a bit longer yarn for for sewing the head if you want to do with this one if not you can take just normal fine yarn like that one i will try with that 
it's very hard to solve with this one but i will give a try if not i will take any any fine yarn and just sewing everything sew everything so fill this body up and the head we sewing right here uh, just in a second i will tell you how i'm gonna fill this body up and we're gonna assemble this together all right guys so we're gonna so i fill up already the body so far that's how it looks so take a needle and insert it in the middle of the eyes one two three uh, between fourth and fifth row from the eyes counting and it's so right in the middle and just fix it in the body look to look nice enough and we're taking the yarn what we left and we have to sew this uh, all the way around if you'll be able to do with the same yarn if not just take any fine fine yarn is not gonna be visible too uh, yeah take any fine yarn if you have um, the years the years I'm gonna sew uh, while you are here with this needle where I told you you look where we left this uh, slip knot to be in the same row about four stitches down to cover a bit eye just like that if you can see four stitches or maybe three three stitches so three stitches down from the needle yeah i think it looks nice like that you look how you thinking is better if you think that a bit left or right or down or whatever you are free to do i'm gonna do it that way so the years i explain where we're sewing and the head too so you do that and after i will show you how to do the eyebrows and maybe eyelashes we'll see for now so this one all right guys so i sew everything together how you can see this is the years just a bit like that i think looks not bad anyway uh, we're gonna do the face so i took some uh, fine yarn this is a dark brown and we're gonna tie the face a bit so we're going under the nose and we exiting right a side eye right here don't pull it till the end so just keep with the finger or something and we enter right here and we're going on the same in the same loop where we entered and while keep this end because it's gonna get loose or something just like that and we tie this one up you can do it a couple of times if you think it's it's not good enough so we tighten just like that up i don't know if you can see on camera and exactly same we're doing on the other one so we entering first we're doing one note not here because uh to not get loose so we're notching this part here a couple of times and we're going on the other side entering right there where we not this one and we exiting here and we exiting here now tie this on and be entering right here on the side of the eye and we should exit in the same way where we entered just like that and you can do it a couple times like that yes all right guys so <clears throat> i tied this size how i liked it this is how it looks i think it's not bad anyway uh, 
you're doing the eyebrows so we after we tied we enter exactly same and just above the eye one row and we're doing one line like that like two stitches apart and exactly same in the other side so if they count you know, one two stitches and we exiting on the same on the mouth side and that's it so far so good just like that we have two eyes two eyebrows I think it's not bad it is quite cute perhaps I don't know I don't know what you think guys if you like it as usual you can write me in the comments what you think about this little project it took me a while this all these holidays and stuff but i finally did it so i'm gonna just hide this ends i'm gonna make a note here and hide everything and that's it this is all we have i hope you enjoyed guys and if you did please leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next tutorial